All right, so this is Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero on a OnePlus 13 using the GameSeer X3 Pro controller that has a cooler on it. And I'm gonna show you the gameplay on it. Normally my phone gets up to like 44, 45 Celsius with no cooler on this game, but it's pretty impressive now. And I'll go through my settings and show you how I'm running it with which settings, and this is the best settings I have found to actually make this game playable. So, let's dive right on in. Now, some of the menus and things like that do take a second to load, and that's just, you know, one of the bugs that I am used to with this, but with the actual fighting and stuff like that, once you actually get loaded into the game, it's pretty, it's pretty smooth. Let's get this closed out here and I'm going to show you what I got set up here. Let's go into my settings here and I'm going to show you what I got set up here. So I did lower my game resolution here to 854 by 480 get that zoomed in there so I just went in there and did a custom one and set that up and that's the only change I did on the general under compatibility I did go with the Proton 9.0-ARM64X-2 and I'm under uh, under the translation parameters I went to performance and that's all I did. I tick performance, uh, GPU driver. I'm using the system driver. I didn't change the, uh, the audio driver. Uh, DXVK, I'm using 1.7.2. I'm also using the VK D3D version of the 2.13 and CPU translator, Box64. 
uh, 0.31-B3. That's the one I found that seems to run the best for me. Because sometimes when I launch the game, it doesn't really want to launch and I have to redo it and redo it. And these are the best settings I've found for my phone. Now in the game, I did go in there and I turned everything to low or off. Uh, just because I don't need all that stuff and I don't want it slowing down my fighting because when you're in there playing a fighter game You want to fight you don't want to sit there and fight with your frames and slowing it down So that is how I have Dragon Ball Spartan Zero working now There is one more thing you do need to do you will need to go into the I and I folder or not the I and I folder but you'll need to go into container desktop And once you're in there, you're going to need to edit a file, and you're going to add a um, you're going to add some information into that file, and it's going to hard code the game to run at 30 frames per second at full speed instead of 60. Now, if you are able to get more frames per second out of your game, like 40. You can change it to 40. If you can get 50, you can change it to 50. If you need to lower it to even, let's say 20, you can lower it to 20, but you do need to change it. So you go into my computer, C, users, Steam user, app data, local, sparking zero, saved, config, windows, and then engine I and I. At the very bottom of this file, you're going to see what I got there. And that's what you need to put in there. There's actually a little bit more just above it. So let me scroll up just a little bit. And let's see. All right. So everything from the script engine dot engine down is what I had to add to the very bottom of this file. Once you put that in there and save it, your game will run at full speed at 30 frames per second instead of slowing down. So that's what helped me getting uh, Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero to run at full speed when playing any of the, uh, the actual fights. So if this video has helped you, please like, subscribe. That would greatly help my channel. And comment any questions or comments, you know, that you have. And you guys have a great day.